this is Sean and you're watching Jack. Oh, kidding. You're just watching Boost District YouTube channel. Let's go. be looking at my 1200 horsepower Chevy SS sedan. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this car, but this is my baby. It has a forged 427, Frankenstein heads, Martin Smallwood custom cam, injector dynamic 1700cc injectors, Boost District Gen 2 2650 supercharger, um, and a grip deck pulley and innovator's west lower pulley. This thing is a beast. So the main point of this video is to figure out, is 1200 horsepower drivable? The answer is yes. We drive this thing everywhere. I take it to ice cream, I, my baby rides in it, my, my wife even drives the car. How does it drive, Daniel? Yeah, so it's an E85 flex fuel, stock trans, ZL1 converter, uh, nine inch drive shaft shop rear end, um, and HRE wheels, obviously, badass. She's uh, a nice piece. Um, this thing has everything I've always wanted. And custom built hood, um, painted by Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Bell. As far as fuel system, this thing has the ID 1700cc injectors. And it has, oh, look at that. Look at how much it gets driven. Goes to the shows all the time. Uh, it has a Dishworks search tank in it. And it, we also have, for the cooling, we have an ice tank in the bottom here, a PNR tank with a EMP pump. Everything works really well and cold. I bought this car brand new in 2016 um, and it's gone through the paces. It's the very first oil change it had. We cammed the car, we put a blower in the car and exhaust in one weekend. Um, and it's been boosted since 4,000 miles. Um, and since then it's seen um, built motor twice. Uh, we changed the motor with a three, uh, 6 0 um, dart with cam and uh, stock heads and made seven no 900 wheel and then we put a dart 390 in it um at, when i switched up the setup i wanted more cubic inch and it made a thousand wheel with it and now we have a 427 so it's seen a lot of combinations throughout the years we always do the r d in our own cars so you don't have to uh, that's kind of our my the fun part of the job for me um, so you know it retains all this functionality of the car um, all 99% of the trunk space is still there I could really put that search tank underneath but I wanted to show it off but um, for anybody that wants to get their car built by us we can always put it underneath or we can put a triple in tank pump um, now that we have a lot more capabilities than what I did eight seven eight years ago when I did this um, so um, yeah it's damn reliable she's a gorgeous car and you know still has Stock interior, no weight reduction, works great. Baby seat in the back, look at that. And the best of it, I think let's see if we have my track time still here. Boom, 9.3 at 151. The bass tune it ran that. Uh, third pass of the day with Felicia driving it. Uh, when we were messing with it in the spring, we brought the C8. Took both cars out in the spring and ran pretty quick, fun times. With very conservative setup, that's what it ran. Uh, we're going to go back out in the next few weeks once the weather cools down and uh, we can get some time to go out. Uh, I'd like to run it again and I'm sure we can knock out a few tents in that, if not a, quite a big chunk. Um, so um, let's go take it for a drive and see how if actually it's drivable. And let's go have some fun. Here's another quick preview of what's uh, about to come. I'm gonna do a little video on this car too. This is another 2014 SS sedan. Adam saw what we do here and he said he wants to do the same. It's getting a, a full 15 inch conversion. Um, we're one of the very few people that was able to fit a ZL1, a ZL1 rear end without having to cut the car up. Still intact. ZL1 rear end, full fuel system done by us. Um, all wiring and plumbing getting happening. Uh, and then we have a Gen 2 2650 uh, and a 10 rib system. So this is going to be a rowdy car when it's done. Uh, we got to the Barrios here in Mexico uh, and uh, we're ready to do a little bit of testing. So driving fine. Obviously, it's how you modulate the throttle. So if you, like, if you do it like that, then yeah, you'll spin. 
but if you're respectful of the throttle, perfectly fine. So, tunability is very important when drive, making these cars drive. Still has a stock transmission, 41,000 miles. Can you believe that? It's also about tuning. Big deal. So, part number one, all done. So, yeah, definitely a lot of power, but also very drivable on the street. Next thing, we're gonna go to Chick fil A and get something to eat and drink. Make sure temps are in check. And uh, yeah, we'll check back in. But I don't know, do they have Chick fil A here in Mexico? I think they do. Okay, good. Perfect. We'll go check it out. Yeah. All right, they do have Chick fil A in Mexico. Let's see if they can merge like American Chick fil A, right? Like everybody's always aggressive until they get to the drive thru and they start merging. They're like, God bless you. God bless you. Look at that guy. God bless you. Find out. Still filming? Yeah. Temps are still in check. There's that, right? Temps still good. <clears throat> this is a true test. Chicken travels well. I wonder if we can bring it back to America. Hello, good afternoon. Thank you so much. You too, thank you. So nice. I love this place. We have made it back from Mexico. The Chick-fil-A in Mexico is really good. The sign even says really well. You're the best part of today. So, I'll take it. Uh, car did good. Uh, as you guys can see, 1200 horsepower is drivable and uh, very fun. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity for filming this. I never thought filming YouTube video would be so fun for the last couple weeks. Um, subscribe. We've, we've gained, I think, almost 150 subscribers just in one week. So, let's keep rocking. I'll keep being creative. Let us know what you guys want to see. Um, we want to film whatever you guys want to see. So we'll keep rocking. Uh, thank you. Subscribe. Take care. Bye. Oh, they say guys will be guys.